you are about to listen to Kaku chapter 28. Revelation, verses, Theology. Preached on Sunday, April 4, 2004. In the Kodro, Abidjan, Ivory Coast. Extracted from the book of Prophet Kaku Philippe, the only true prophet sent by the Lord Jesus Christ, in fulfillment of the cry of Matthew 25 6, for the salvation of our generation. Kaku chapter 28, Revelation contre Theologie. Kaku chapter 28, Revelation versus Theology. Although William Branham and his message, were a blessing from Jesus Christ to the whole earth, the Branhamists, those who believe in the message of William Branham, even in all its purity are the highest form of seduction ever. And they have been represented in the vision of April 24, 1993 by a mixed-race woman. And we know what a mixed-race woman is capable of, and it is hybridization. The evening message is hybridized. And today, E. World Frank and his sweet Madel in the Midnight Cry. And some Branhamist pastors like E. World Frank, even claim to be the Midnight Cry. Becoming thus prophet messengers, to better correct the prophet William Branham? The lightning of Matthew 24 verse 27, after leaving the East and passing across France, Hungary, Germany, England, up to the West, has it returned to Europe? Because nothing good can come from Africa? Every child of God knows how E. World Frank, this brilliant Methodist theologian has been a tool in the hands of Satan to pervert the ways of the truth. And why? For which purpose? To destroy the evening time message, so that the Branhamists, that is to say Vashti, may be disgraced and that Mimukin, the seventh prince who sees the king's face, the seventh heavenly messenger may promulgate the edict, the midnight cry and that under the supervision of Haggai, eighth from amongst the seven chamberlains, but who is not among the seven chamberlains of Esther 1 verse 10, that is to say the seven earthly angels who are the seven chamberlains of Esther 1 verse 10, the edict, the midnight cry, the message of Matthew 25 6 of may be proclaimed. According to 1 Kings 22 verse 19 to 22, God looked upon the earth, neither the sons of Branham, nor his companions could raise their hand against the message, and the heel of William Branham. Heel means posterity. And there was a man on the face of the earth, himself enlightened by that message of William Branham, prepared for the day and the hour and who would not be afraid to contradict what God has vindicated. Now follow how these demons, which are those Branhamist leaders, contradict the message of William Branham. In Genesis 1 verse 26, William Branham reveals that God is speaking to himself, and E. World Frank demonstrates that God is speaking to the angels. In Revelation 1 verse 20, William Branham reveals that it is a question of seven golden lamps, E. World Frank demonstrates that it is a question of seven golden candlesticks, which gives 49 lamps. And the words of E. World Frank are repeated by several Branhamist pastors, who go up to say that Satan was creating with God. They speak of Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28 and Ezekiel 28 verse 12 to 14, and quote Louis Sagan where it is said, Thou sealest up perfection. They say that Lucifer, because of his importance in the presence of God occupied an important place in the creation. But if Satan can create, why does he not go and create his own galaxy, his planets and his own world where he would be the true God, instead of remaining there and be humiliated in the churches? Is the one who can create obliged to disguise himself as an angel of light to be worshipped? You say, Brother Philippe, it was after his fall that this power to create was taken away from him. No brethren, Satan never created and will never be able to create. How can a creation create? God can tell me, my servant. Speak and let such a thing suddenly come into existence. And I can do it but that does not make me a creator. Or a man having the power to create. Satan cannot create. Granting the power of creation to Satan is to make him the equal of God. Now, William Branham reveals it remains three and a half years to Israel, 
the world Frank demonstrates that it remained seven years. In questions and answers on the seals, when it was asked to William Branham how much time it remained to the Jews in relation with the 70 weeks of Daniel, he replied, only one half week. Jesus prophesied the first half of the 70th week, as was predicted. Only one half week left for them. You see? And like Aaron. In Exodus 32 verse 1 to 6, E. World Frank spreads his message like the one of William Branham. E. World Frank and his brotherhood go up to say that Revelation 10 verse 7 does not apply to William Branham. And you see that. It is witchcraft in daylight. The congregation laughs. E. World Frank demonstrates that it applies to Israel. However, William Branham says, in order to reveal the seventh angel's message. William Branham also says, Yet this messenger of Malachi 4 and Revelation 10 7 will do two things. Firstly, according to Malachi 4, he will turn the hearts of the children to their fathers. Secondly, he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders of Revelation 10, which are the mysteries contained in the seven seals. And speaking of Lee Vale, William Branham said on August 22, 1965, in the message Christ is revealed in his own word, reference 177. I'm going to ask Brother Lee Vale if he'll come up here, or he can. If you can get over there. Brother Vale. Brother Vale is our brother here, a writer of the books. And he's getting the book ready now, The Seven Church Ages. And working with the seven seals. And we'll soon hope to have them out pretty soon. You see? Not E. World Frank but Lee Vale. And E. World Frank has produced tens of contradictions. And yet, even a prophet messenger cannot correct another prophet messenger. And that, the Branhamists do not know it. Why? Because they have not known, the notion of prophet. If you have really known the notion of prophet, you cannot walk without a living prophet. Because the prophet is the guide and the light of the world in his time. Hosea 12:14 says that, and by a prophet Jehovah brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was Israel preserved. And 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20 says that, it is in a prophet that we must confide. And cursed be whoever confides in man. That is to say in an apostle, a church prophet, evangelist or teacher according to Ephesians 4:11, You are cursed, as soon as you do not follow the living prophet of your time. God only recognizes what this prophet says. And it is in what he says that there is eternal life. The congregation says, Amen. Now let's come back to the Bible. Revelation 12 applies both to Israel and to nations. In verse 1, as church of the nations, the twelve stars are the doctrine of the twelve apostles. As Judaism, the twelve stars are the twelve patriarchs. At the end, in verse 17, those who keep the commandment of God, they are the Jews, and those who keep the testimony of Jesus, they are the Christians, and the two wings of the great eagle are the message of Matthew 25 6 founded upon the Old and New Covenant. E. World Frank demonstrates that Revelation 10 verse 7 does not apply to William Branham, because the seven angels on the Sunset Mountain did not have any trumpets. According to him E. World Frank. But anyway, a chosen one will not be distracted by that. On balance, I prefer being wrong with a prophet, rather than accepting the simple, and clear explanation of a theologian. The congregation says, Amen. I do not believe in a ministry of correction of what a prophet messenger said. No matter the clear explanation of a theologian, I prefer the affirmation of the prophet messenger which I do not understand. I, Kaku Philippe, slave of Jesus Christ, I will never let myself be distracted by the demonstration of a theologian. No matter how true that is. And when despite that, they brandish a call and a commission and people follow that. I do not understand. How can an apostle have a call and a commission? How can an evangelist have a call and a commission? How can a church prophet or a teacher have a call and a commission? 
It is only the prophet messenger of the generation that God calls. And then the prophet messenger chooses the apostles, the evangelists, the church prophets, and the teachers, with whom he will work. Even in a nation, the ministers, it is a president who chooses them by his own authority. In the time of Moses, it was Moses who chose his priesthood according to Leviticus 8 and who consecrated them. And the priesthood of the Old Testament are the ministries of Ephesians 4:11, which are, apostle, evangelist, teacher and church prophet. Each prophet chose the ministries of his time. Jesus Christ chose the apostles of his time. John the Baptist chose the apostles of his time. Paul chose the apostles of his time. And today, you cannot be an apostle while the living prophet of your time has not chosen and established you. You are a liar. You are a seducer and only the sons of the devil can believe in you. The congregation says, Amen. And even if you are a true apostle, church prophet, evangelist or teacher, Know that infallibility is not with you, but with the living prophet of your time. And an apostle, church prophet, evangelist or teacher cannot make the people of God move forward. Has E. World Frank received a more authentic call than the one of Judas or Aaron? But see how Aaron led the people astray. In only forty days, in the absence of Moses, the living prophet of their time, the congregation says, Amen. I tell you, under the virtue of what you believe that I am, that the seven angels photographed in the sunset mountain in America had trumpets. Which angels is it spoken of in Matthew 24 verse 31 with trumpets, and who will gather the elect from one end of the earth to another? And by the revelation, I affirm that the seven angels are the seven priests of Joshua 6. The congregation says, Amen. First, in verse 12, the manna of Moses ceased. The evening light became worthless and a multitude of branimist maggots swarm there now. Verse 4 reveals the seven church ages with the first chapter of Esther. On the seventh day, there was a restoration of all the other six days. But the walls did not fall. In verse 5, we see the midnight cry. A great shout singular. Not shouts as Louis Sagonde says, but a great shout. Which shout, you see? It is in a vision of April 24th. The vision of the angel having the sword in verse 13 of the previous chapter, that he had received all the message. And Joshua, that great prophet sent from God indicated to them the shout they had to emit. Seven priests. Seven days then a shout. And the manifestation of the third pole came behind that. And just before Joshua 6, we see in Joshua 5 verse 13 to 15, the angel of April 24, 1993 with the sword. And I explained that it was the horseman of Revelation 19. The same faithful and true of Revelation 3 verse 14, here at midnight. You see? Joshua was the prophet messenger who came after Moses. And William Branham calls him a wise prophet sent from God. See the spoken word, is the original seed. In the beginning, after Moses, God raised up Joshua, the Holy Spirit in a prophet messenger. Not in the priests who are the four ministries of Ephesians 4.11, but a prophet messenger, you see? But the Branhamists have a parliamentary regime and the denominations have a presidential regime. And both of them do not want a prophet messenger. While the Bible that they hold in their hands is the book of the books of the prophets. Why? Because God only speaks by prophet messengers. And outside a prophet messenger. It is absolutely impossible for you to be in the perfect will of God. The congregation says, Amen. And the Branhamists having known the truth, rejected this truth to return in the Pentecostalism. And that is why the judgment must begin by them, the Branhamists. It is in front of their temples that, first the Louis Sagand, Schofield Bibles and the books and brochures of E. World Frank must be burned, and that, in several sessions, the congregation says, Amen. 
How can one believe in a prophet messenger and use a Bible on the first page of which it is written? Louis Sagand, Doctor of Theology? What is it? It is the manifestation of the sons of the devil. They are sons of the devil returning to their father Satan. The message of William Branham has had no effect on them. Because they were created sons of perdition, before the foundation of the world. I am surprised to see that some Branhamists defend those versions of the Bible while on their first page, it is written, Louis Sagand, Doctor of Theology. If a theologian can translate the Bible, so why not believe in theology? And if one can use the Louis Sagand Bible, translated by a theologian, then William Branham is a false prophet? Because he condemned theology. And others say, William Branham had King James. But was it not in the evening time? The revelation being progressive, God says now by the prophet messenger of your time, that whoever holds the Louis Sagand or King James Bible in his hand, is a child of the devil, and worships Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Why was the baptism of John the Baptist remade by Paul? And why were you not baptized in the name of the Father? the Son and the Holy Spirit by aspersion as Martin Luther did. The reason is that the revelation is progressive. And it is in virtue of that, that the Holy Spirit has said through the living prophet of your time, that whoever uses the Louis Sagand or King James Bible is a child of the devil. And, if after hearing me, you take your Louis Sagand or King James, or Schofield Bible again, then, you have never received the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit that you thought to be the Holy Spirit, is nothing else but a demon of divination, that agitates you, like the prophets of Baal, in the Old Testament. The congregation says, Amen. God is in His Word, the Holy Spirit is in His Word, and the Holy Spirit in you will accept this Word, if it is really the Holy Spirit. The congregation says, Amen. And if you go in a church, where the pastor uses the Louis Sagan Bible, and that you cannot get out of there, then you have never received the Holy Spirit. And it is the sign that you are a child of the devil because children of God are not hypocrites. The congregation says, Amen. There was a time when God brought grace upon the earth. Then with Moses, he brought the law upon the earth. And he came back again by his sacrifice and brought back grace upon the earth. And if the same Holy Spirit that has tolerated a King James Bible in the evening time, tells you at midnight, burn it, what should you do? The revelation is progressive and after me. A prophet will come with a new message and a new baptism. And a child of God will not say that his prophet is Kaku Philippe, while I, Kaku Philippe, I am no longer on the earth. The congregation says, Amen. Today on the earth, there is no disciple of Jeremiah or Isaiah. And if there were no sons of the devil on the earth, there would be no Lutherans, Methodists or Branhamists on the earth today. God always leads his people by a living prophet on the earth. Dear Branhamists, seek to be born again. Can you use a version of Bible on the first page of which it is written? Translation by Zeridji. Great fetish priest. I asked them that and one of them said, no. And I said, what if this Bible is well translated? Despite it being translated by a fetish priest. And he said, no. I cannot use it because it is a fetish priest who translated it. But why do you not understand the fact that, Louis Sagand, a doctor of theology, translated a Bible at the request of the company of pastors of Geneva? And you have followed a prophet condemning theology. You use it? Why are you so blind? And why does my word not touch your hearts? Be humble and throw away all what you have as treasure and receive this message, the treasure that comes from the heaven. The congregation says, Amen. One does not put new wine into old Branhamist skins. Do you see these Branhamists? And hundreds of them will die this way. 
They want to mix the new wine with the old wine. The rotten manna with the manna of the day. Although the Lord Jesus Christ had not abolished the law, the woman of Revelation 12 verse 1, had it under her feet, the law served her now as a foundation. And at midnight, that is what we must understand. If you have the evening light in one hand and the midnight cry in the other, which spirit will you receive? One is a message of restoration, and it is William Branham. Whereas the other is a message of restitution, and it is Kaku Philippe. The congregation says, Amen. It is not the same thing. Restore means re-establish, repair, regain strength. Whereas restitute means return, put back in its original state. And it is the message of the midnight cry. William Branham preached and baptized for restoration. But Kaku Philippe preaches and baptizes for restitution. John the Baptist preached and baptized for repentance. But the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostles preached and baptized for remission of sins. The revelation is progressive. And you must move forward with that. The Bible says that, He is him that walks in the middle of the seven golden lamps. Remember this. What God gave and that the devil took has now been restituted to you. Stick to what it has pleased God to give you today. If not, which spirit will you receive? Do not hybridize the word and do not have the spirit of frog. The congregation says, Amen. Manifested in flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ entered into the temple, overthrew the tables, whipped people, and walking through the seven church ages. Once, he broke the statues and the churches. Today he burns false versions of the Bible shouting, You have made of the Bible a book of divination and magic. Did not the same spirit of Elijah lead Elijah to slaughter 450 prophets of Jehovah? He did it. And today, he puts signs, which are some false holy spirits, upon these Catholics, Protestants, Evangelicals and Branhamists, so that they may be identified by these signs these false holy spirits and that they may be cast into the burning lake of fire and brimstone. The congregation says, Amen. Because you have refused the living prophet of your time. So God puts an evil spirit upon you. A sign and you call that holy spirit. And by these signs you will be identified as having been Catholics, Protestants, Evangelicals and Branhamists on the earth. These spirits in you that you call Holy Spirit and by which you do these miracles and these wonders. They are demons. And it is them that will send you in hell. And he that has ears to hear, let him hear. You've just listened to Kaku Chapter 28. Revelation versus theology. The message of Prophet Kaku Philippe is in more than 100 sermons, in audio and written versions, and more than 20 video interviews. You can get them for free on the website www.philipkaku.org or in version for mobile phone 1-800-227-5433.